Thanks for joining us. A rural Winnebago County couple catches a pair of burglars in the act last night. It caught the suspects off guard who then decided to viciously beat the two, sending them to the hospital where they're still recovering from their injuries. Eyewitness News reporter Dolly McCarthy joins us now in the studio with the latest. That's right, Mimi and Nick. Another home invasion, this one happening in rural Winnebago County last night. The suspects still on the loose. Violence, it's getting, it's getting out of hand. Disbelief, yet also relief for the family of Roger and Kay Schramm, who survived a brutal attack in their home in rural Rockton. Well, obviously shock, you know, anytime, uh, you know, somebody close to you, always, you always think, you know, this only happened to somebody else. Well, this time it didn't, so it's pretty shocking. Just before 6 o'clock on Thursday night, police say two black male suspects in their late teens and early 20s forcefully entered a rear door at this home in the 4800 block of Favor Road in Rockton. Once inside, they shot and killed two large dogs before ransacking the home and gathering items to take with them. Police say a short time later, the Shrams came home interrupting the burglary, and that's when they were both hit in the head with a gun. They pistol whipped her and pretty much knocked her out and then hit her in the face a few times. So it wasn't, you know, they're not nice guys. Well, crime is a big issue in Winnebago County. Winnebago County Sheriff's Deputy Chief Dominic Aspero says crimes of this nature are extremely rare in rural areas of the county. It's very isolated. Um, it's unusual that an incident like this would take place. Now, why the suspect chose that particular location um, at this point, we don't know. Investigators continue to search for clues inside the home while both victims recover at the hospital. My in-laws are the most generous people on, on, on earth. Um, but uh, he's a, he's a self-made man. He's, uh, he's a man of great value, uh, values and uh, integrity. He's a, he's a great man. So, uh, and Kay, best mother-in-law you could have. I Police are still looking for clues at the home and the men who did it. They are described as two black males in their late teens to early 20s with a dark or black getaway car similar to a Grand Prix. And a bizarre twist to the story, the victims in this case are the parents of Tara Schramm Sheets. She was a runner in last month's Boston Marathon and had just finished the race when the bombs went off. She was not hurt. Mimi, Nick? It's a bizarre